Hey guys, press pause here and welcome back to another episode of Hearthstone. We are on the latest version of the game. Blizzard just updated it today, Tuesday, the... I don't know. Anyway, um, a lot of changes have been made to the game, a lot of bug fixes, uh, a lot of cards have been changed. So in my collection, I no longer have Tinkmaster Overspark. Because they made him worse, and I never really used him anyway, so I changed him out for Mr. Karen Bloodhoof, who is much better. And I've also made some slight adjustments to this deck. Took out the uh, Worgen Infiltrators for a pair of Starfalls, and I've been doing much, much better against really aggressive decks like Paladin and uh, Warrior and Warlock, other classes that like to get up a lot of dudes because I didn't really have an answer for that other than my creatures, which are already on the board. So Starfall really, really helps out with that. Also helps out with other big things that have 5 health. So definitely an improvement over the Worgen Infiltrator. Uh, I can see why no one runs that card. <laughs> so yeah, we also took out one Archon Commander and replaced him with Karen Bloodhoof, because Karen Bloodhoof is really good, and he should go in every, he should go in every deck. Other than that, not really too much going on. But, you can see, I've been ranking for maybe about an hour and a half now, and I've jumped almost uh, three ranks. So, not too bad. What we're going to show here today is Pablo's Shaman. This deck makes me so angry, because it's all mostly basic cards. In fact, it's all basic cards. But it's so goddamn good. Because Shaman is broken. So I'm going to take this on the casual ladder. And even though I am no good with Shaman, I will at least try to make the games interesting. You can kill someone who is at above 20 health with two creatures with this deck. Because it's all about Rockbiter Weapon, Wind Fury, and Bloodlust. Those are the cards that get you your winning combo. So I'm going to see how I can do with it, because when Pablo uses it, he just destroys me. Thrall versus Jaina. You asked for it. For Doomhammer. Okay. I do like a lot of the changes that they've made, uh, especially to Nat Pagel and Tinkmaster. Mm, like, those are much-needed changes. They fixed a lot of bugs, everything kind of just looks better now. Hey, we got the Wind Fury. Um, hopefully this little bug here has been fixed and I can keep popping these plants to my heart's content. Looks like it. Okay, cool. He's just gonna ping that and pass. Or I can throw it on a Mana Worm or something. We're just gonna throw this down. Oh yes, they fixed the bugs. Also, your cards aren't gonna do that stupid stacking thing anymore. I think it's said in the patch notes, your cards will now respect personal space or something along the something along those lines. There was also a reference to the Doge meme in the patch notes. I'm sure everyone else caught that. Anyone who's read them. But yeah, a lot of the bugs have been fixed. It feels it feels like a different game, just because there aren't all these bugs, and it just looks a little different. It plays better, too. Like you can see, I'm running at a solid 60 frames here. Um, we are just gonna... Get rid of that. Next turn, we can Shattered Sun Cleric or Shattered Sun Cleric and give it Wind Fury and do 8 damage. But that's cause for immediate Frostbolt. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see what totem I get. Oh, that's real nice. I'm actually going to hex this. Push forward. Yay! Healing! He can't Blizzard yet, unless he's already used his if he hasn't used his coin. I don't remember if he has or not.
Yeah. Probably gonna throw it on the fire elemental. Definitely gonna throw it on the fire elemental. You could double arcane explosion. Which would stink. Oh, there's the coin. Fireball. Someday I'll be just like you. Frost pool. Um. Oh, okay. Oh my god. I'm so done with this. If he actually kills it, okay. Okay, that's that's not a problem at all. <sighs> I definitely think I have to do this. Push forward. Get rid of that. We won! <laughs> you see, this is a good deck. Your opponent just gets so angry because Shaman has really good cards. Yeah, they 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 must have changed like the lighting in this game because it just looks really different. <coughs> I know they gave a lot of legendaries, or they at least gave Ragnaros a new entrance, which is really cool. Raw versus. Rexa! Bionics. Let the hunt begin for Doomhammer. I don't remember the, like the what we're keeping. We're keeping this whole hand because we've got our kill move here. And we have a nice turn two drop. Although hunters tend to be very aggressive, and I don't know how good this deck is at dealing with aggression. Greetings, Raptor. Greetings, friend. Like I said, it's not my deck. <laughs> There's a Senge and Shield Master. Like so yeah, definitely an aggro deck. Upper Gnome is guaranteed two damage at least. Yeah, it's completely ignoring me. Okay. Um, let's see what totem I get. I don't want to throw this down yet. I'm gonna get rid of that. If you're sure. Because. There's a combo where you can go Flame Tongue Totem, Rock Better Weapon, Wind Fury. For five mana, I could deal how much to him? Um, two plus three, ten damage for five mana with one creature. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw this guy down. And he's probably gonna multi shot or deadly shot and hope it hits the right one. I generally don't like playing Tondras in my deck, because they just feel a little too reactive. Like, you're not really... You are changing things, but... I'd argue most of the time not for the better. Like, you can put some creatures behind a taunt, and yeah, that's an aggressive, uh, good use for a taunt. But if you're just throwing up a taunt because you need to take a little less damage, you are not in good shape, and you're likely not going to win that game. Now, it can help stabilize you. I'm not saying it's bad, it's just I personally don't like it. I wonder. There are much better ways. Um, oh good, we got to eat three of his creatures. That's good for a very aggressive hunter like this. I am going to see what what am I get, and then we I'm actually going to give this one, one well. this one. So we got the Rockbiter weapon, Wind Fury. Probably on this one, that's twelve. Is fourteen? Actually, plus this is is a lot more. It's like eighteen damage. Now, we haven't seen Bloodlust yet. Oh, thanks for the mana crystal, dude. He's trying to rush us down. What he doesn't know is that he's gonna get screwed. Um... I kinda wanna take it a little slow, though, but I am in his kill range for, uh... Unleash the Hounds. Timberwolf, so... Let's see, if I do Flame Tongue Totem on these two... 
that is four and five. Plus rock biter weapon here is eight. Wind fury is sixteen. Plus four is twenty damage. Um, and that's five mana, so I've got enough to do this. Please be a taunt. There we go. Rock biter weapon. Wind fury. Push forward. Push forward. And now he's a 10 health. Probably gonna throw it on an explosive trap. I wouldn't be surprised if that's what he did. We could just arcane shot and then. That's probably the explosive trap. There's a silence. We need something. We need a little something. Um, well, since we know it's an explosive trap. God, what do I want to do here? We have to activate it. Well, that's only when, it, when we hit him. That's the thing. So what I'm going to do is... What to do? <sighs> okay, this Great is this is a little trapper. tough. This is a little tough. I will um, hunt you down. Because that is an explosive trap, and we need to get rid of this stuff. I guess we just activate it. You down. I'm going to destroy this thing. And then pray for a tone. Nope. Uh, he probably is Leroy Jenkins, we're probably dead. Or like an arcane shot. Yeah, he's digging for it. He's digging for his kill. All he needs is an arcane shot, and we're dead. Uh. Well no, you don't get the kill. Come on. Boom. <laughs> so yeah, you can lose with this. Like I said, it's all basic cards. There are probably some optimizations that can be made to it. And I, I, like I said, I didn't really think it can deal that well with aggro classes. Um, but you saw that guy was so focused on burning me down that I ended up doing, what, it's like 20 damage to him in one turn? That's the sort of thing. If you can get someone to around 20 health and be able to do that, you know, they're just going to go down. Uther. I will fight with honor for Doomhammer. I don't think I want these two things, because Hex is more of a late game card. There, that's that's actually much better. We're gonna coin out the Novice Engineer. Probably trade it for one of his little the dudes. Protects oh, oh, oh. I guess not. I guess we're gonna coin out the Willowcopolis. Which... You know, you can't really blame Pop because he's a free-to-play player. This is probably one of the best two-drop basic cards. At least neutral. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, I'm going to Flame Tongue Totem. Get rid of this. And then hopefully he'll trade here, and then I can Elven Archer it. He's also running Elven Archer in this deck. I don't really like Elven Archer. But hey. Why would he play that now? He's got weapons in the deck. One shot, one kill. Oh, I hope you like my invention. 
Uh, always. You, you throw down a novice engineer and get a novice engineer. Well, there's that. That's less than fun. But we've got a cure for that, so... And next turn I can rock by weapon Wind Fury if it's still alive. Oh, no, never mind. How do I get rid of that? Where's my hex? Hex. Taunter. Um. I really don't like playing against Paladin. I think I personally am just bad against Paladin. Holy fuck, okay. Um... Now I screwed that up because I threw it on this totem. I could have uh, given it plus one, plus one, and now I wouldn't have killed it anyway. Okay. Um, I we guess I'll just do this. Because well. I can do it again next turn. This isn't... We're not in a good spot. We haven't seen Bloodlust once yet, so this is fun. Oh. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sack my kill to clear out his threats. Push forward. Now we've got a 6-7 on the board. Or, not a 6-7, a 6-5. So he's probably going to want to get rid of that. He might have quality consecrate, which would really, really suck. Oh, the sword of justice. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be kidding me! Oh my god. This guy likes playing big creatures. Can we kill him this turn? I think we we might be able to. Well, we're throwing this down. Whoa, wait a minute. So we've got nine damage here. I can make this seven, that's fourteen. We must cleanse the sun well. Um, fourteen plus six plus one is twenty one damage, not enough to kill. So I'm still gonna do these things. If we had Bloodlust, this would be a different story. That's really the key card to winning. I think in most Shaman decks is Bloodlust, and we have not seen that. Oh, well, have, have fun sitting up there. We need Bloodlust, though, right now. That's what needs to happen. We need Bloodlust. Can we... Can Are the top decks with us? Are the top decks with us? Because that's 15 damage just from the spell. No, the top decks are not with us. Okay, so I'm gonna hex this, obviously. Let's see if I can't get a taunter. No taunter in sight. I'll give it a shot. Uh, we can clear his board at the cost of our own, and all he needs is a hammer of wrath to kill us. Um. We can do 9, 6 plus 6 is 12, not enough. Push forward, push forward. If we had gotten Bloodlust, he would be dead right now. Uh. Oh. That's not, that's a, that is a, we are not dead yet. Reporting for duty. I don't care. Give me bloodlust. I need it. Well played. We're we're 
trying. I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. There's the Tartar. Well, I suppose it's a better deck uh, where Pablo plays. Also, it does depend on Bloodless, and we did not see that at all. So, how can you win without your kill card? So yeah, I am probably going to do some more recording today, showing off some of these other decks. Uh, some of them are mine, some of them aren't. Actually, two of them are not mine, and the rest are. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I didn't do a very good job of showing off this deck. It is actually very, very good. Uh, just weak to aggro. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.